Would you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Zachy, and I play guitar for Event Sevenfold. You just got awake, I heard. Yeah, I've been, I came down with a little bit of an illness uh, yesterday morning, and it's kind of taking its toll today, but I feel a little bit better. Okay, what's what's going on then? Um, nothing much. You know, we, we just walked into this the Gower Dome. Yeah. It's massive. Really excited. Oh, well, it's big, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're playing with Metallica tonight. How uh, how long have you been on tour already? Um, we have been with them for one week. All right. How's it going so far? Oh, it's unbelievable. It's yeah. so far every show has just been insane. Uh, we played Berlin with them a couple of days ago, and it was just massive. <laughs> uh, isn't that an horn? Isn't that an honor for Event Sevenfold to play with them? Uh, it's, it's really the biggest honor of any band we've ever played with, and you know when you actually. When you're actually out there and seeing their crowd and seeing the band perform, you totally understand that they've totally accomplished everything because of their attitudes and they play so well and they just love their fans. It's just really cool to see how real, okay. like what they've yeah. built is. So they play really, really well then. Oh, they're, yeah, they're fantastic. Unbelievable! After all these years, still playing really good. No, it, it's such a oh, cool, an amazing thing. And what about you guys, Fan Seven Four? So go, um, yeah, play. Are you nervous for while you're going up? And no, yeah, we're, we're not so nervous. Yeah, we're really excited. Um, we're going in front of you know between twenty or thirty or more thousand people a night. Yeah, and uh, you know a lot of these people don't know who we are yet. Exactly. It's, it's so you have to present yourself every time over and over. Definitely, you know, especially when you're you're going right before Metallica. You know, you got thirty thousand people there that want to see Metallica. It's kind of You can't expect them to be going crazy, so you have to put on the best show and try to win them over. And I think we're doing that every single night so far. I think so too, because I th your style is almost similar, and uh, you know, a lot of influences of it uh, are like from Metallica's and, and a bit more technical-wise. Um, how could you describe your <coughs> your style for people who don't know your music? Um, you know, I think our we take influences from lots and lots of different things. Um, You know, first and foremost, I definitely say that we're a heavy metal band, and we definitely have influences. You know, like some punk rock stuff and just some straightforward rock and roll, hard rock stuff. Yeah. But um, you know, I mean, we just love all sorts of music, and we're we're not afraid to try out new and different things. Um, and you know, I think a lot of the best metal bands have that have a similar attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, hey, and uh. Um, you last year you brought <coughs> City of Evil out, out the 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 album. Uh, it's a wicked album. Very lots of variety, like big heavy metal double bass stuff till uh, very uh, nice choruses, singing wise and stuff. How um, how could how come you how do you make songs within the band? Um, you know we don't really have any specific method for writing. It'll, it basically you know everyone contributes. And it'll just start with an idea that somebody has, mm -hmm. and you know, we'll bring it to someone else, and you know, they might have their own idea, and then we just sit down together and start structuring songs and coming up with parts and stuff, and then um, you know, we spend a lot of time trying to fine tune them and take off, you know, yeah. anything that we think holds the song back. Mm, exactly. Hey, hey, last year, um, TRL started playing your songs. Uh, that's that's quite cool because um, you were one of them. So many metal bands around there in America, and all of a sudden TRL started playing your songs. How was that? It was very strange, you know, um, because in the history of you know, I mean, on MTV in America, there's pretty much only that's the only show for half an hour a day that plays ten videos, and if you're one of those ten videos, you know. It's, a huge accomplishment. Okay, cool. And, uh, and yeah, and for us, it was um, something we'd never expected, but we, we weren't, because, you know, a lot of those, it's a lot of pop people on there, like Madonna and stuff, and there'd never really been a heavy metal band to even get on the countdown. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was pretty shocking, but on the same token, we didn't want to lose our, any of our integrity mm -hmm. as a metal band or anything, so... You know, yeah, we, we were just happy to get our music played in front of new fans, and exactly. And the video was pretty cool too. Was it Beth County? Yes. Oh, that's a wicked video. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you remember uh, uh, recording it, the video? How was that? That was one of the funnest experiences. Um, 
we filmed it in Las Vegas, and it took just it was a one long day. Yeah. But they you know they're just surrounded by gorgeous girls and you know your best friends. So that, <laughs> that was probably the funnest video to date. Oh, cool man, cool. Hey, what about Metallica? Are they playing new songs? Um. Because it's get out of the get out of the studio tour or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, escape from the studio. Okay. Um, so far, they haven't played any new songs. Oh. But we asked them about that actually, and they said that um, maybe you know four or five days into the tour, they might try something that's new. And today will be the fourth day. All right. They play them, so hopefully, I'd love to. I can't wait. You know, yeah, they do. Cool, cool, cool. What about the last record, Saint Anger? Do you like it? You know what? I really do like it. Um, I think, you know, there hadn't been a Metallica album out for a while, and they, you know, they were trying to uh, go into a little bit of a new direction. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they brought a lot of elements of their fast thrash stuff back, and I think it was a really honest, um, you know, evolution and departure from other stuff they'd done. And it was cool because it kept people on their toes and people were definitely talking about it. Exactly. Uh, and I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Cool, cool. Hey, it's something very different. Like Rex from Pantera said to you that your band, Van Temple, have the flag in their hands now because you're very hot in America. You're getting bigger everywhere. So like the flag, I mean like one of the biggest bands around and you have to keep it and run with it and hold it, he says in an interview or he says in a, a sort of shout out. What do you think about that? You know, it's, it's a huge honor. Um, And, you know, I think we've been blessed with so many opportunities, you know, like being able to do these shows with Metallica and stuff. I think, um, you know, it would be an honor to even attempt to do even a little bit of what a band like Metallica has accomplished and, you know, just keep the heavy metal flag waving and stuff. Um, I think in the mean, at, at this moment... I think Metallica is so, you know, just such a force to be reckoned with that mm -hmm. it, they're still so, I mean, it's just such an amazing thing. They're so strong right now, um, as, as strong as ever, you know, and yeah. it's just so cool to see. And, you know, for us, we just want to keep working hard and, you know, hope to someday be even a, a fraction of what you know, a band like Metallica has accomplished. Exactly, because that's why you do it, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is having fun and, and being the best band in the world. Definitely. We, lo we love what we do and, um, you know, we set our goals really high. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's really good. Are there? Uh, are you writing new songs right for a new album or is it just touring this this one, City of Evil? Uh, right now we're just touring. Um, mm. We have a lot of places to, uh, to, go to, to still try and win over. Yeah, exactly, because you're going on a big tour. What's that kind of tour? Uh, Ozfest again, too, of course. Yeah. All right. Looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely. It'll be our first year actually doing Ozfest. All We'd right. always done a Warped Tour before. Yeah, yeah. So this time um, we're excited to see what it's all about and put on the best show we can. Yeah, how many gigs? 27 or something. Like a lot of them. Yes. Yeah. Fucking great. That's cool. Do you know the lineup already? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be System of a Down, Disturbed, and then Us. Um I believe Hatebreed and Lacuna Coil. All right, and the System of Down uh, is playing, so because I thought they were having a break for a couple of years. Yeah, um, this is going to be their last tour for a while, I think. Oh, okay then, okay then. All right, cool. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, I can I can have a have a look with you guys then there. Yeah, I won't I won't be there tonight, unfortunately, but I wish you all the best there. Uh, thank you very much. Cool. And uh, what what kind of bands are more tonight? Um, it's it's Metallica, Us, um, a band Trivium. Yeah. They're really awesome, and uh, Bullet for My Valentine, who oh, are so really cool guys as well. Big metal party there in R&M tonight. Yeah, tonight is definitely the night. All right, cool. All right, I wish you all the best, man, and uh, oh, good luck, you. and hopefully thank see you soon here in Amsterdam or uh, around Holland. Definitely, thank you so much. Cool. Thank you very much, man. Take care. Man. See you later. Bye. Bye.